What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Boy Giant 25 and tonight I'm going to do my WWE NXT review and holler if you guys new. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and let's get started. What a way to kick off NXT. I love NXT. This show itself was great. Kushida vs. The Velveteen Dream vs. Tommaso Ciampa. This Triple Threat match was fantastic. Oh, I love this Triple Threat match. It says, as Dream is making his entrance, Ciampa attacks him from behind. Ciampa tosses Dream into the barricade and ring apron. Champa tosses Dream into the ring. Kushida beats down Dream. Kushida tosses Dream out of the ring. Champa slams Dream, casting arm into the announce desk. Champa launches Kushida into the barricade. Champa lands a nasty running knee to Kushida. Champa does the same thing to Dream. Champa lands a draping DDT on Kushida, Kushida and Dream at the same time. Champa only gets a near fall. Champa works over Dream's injured arm. Champa drops his knee on Dream's arm. Dream rolls rolls out into the corner, written in pain. Kushida tries to to lock Champa in the armbar, but Champa looks hooks the ropes to avoid it. Dream tries to steal a pin, but Champa breaks it up. Dream rolls out of the ring. Kushida and, and Champa trade strikes. Kushida gets a near fall after a sunset flip. Dream hits the ring and lands a few punches. Kushida, Kushida and Champa. Dream sandwiches sandwich Kushida and Champa in the corner. Dream gets caught up John the crowd. Champa explodes out of the corner and turns Dream inside out with a lariat. Champa. Champa chops Dream and Kushida, Kushida in the corner. Machine gun chopped by Champa to Dream. Kushida fires back and lands a few chops of his own. Kushida trades a handspring, but Champa and Dream catches him. Dream and Champa try to double team suplex Kushida, but he lands on his feet. Kushida blasts Champa with a stiff right arm. After the break, Kushida. Kushida dives off the apron and hits a senton on Dream. Kushida puts Dream in in a in an armbar. Um, Dream taps out, taps, but they are outside of the ring, so it doesn't matter. Champa stomps on Kushida to break the the hole. Kushida drops his body weight on Champa, arm outside of the ring, back in the ring. Kushida tries to lock Champa in a flying armbar. Dream breaks it up. With the purple rainmaker off the top, Champa breaks up breaks up the pin. Champa and Dream trade strikes. Dream avoids the fairy tale ending. Dream almost super kicks the referee. Dream hits the DVD. Kushida breaks the pin. Dream go gloats and he is the only one left standing. Both Champa and Kushida light Dream up. Um, Kushida hits Santon off of the top on Champa and Dream multiple multiple times. Kushida gets back in the ring and gets dropped with the Willow Willow's Bell. Dream hits Champa in the head with the with his cast, but but gets knocked off with the apron in the process. Champa is out cold. Kushida deadlifts German suplex Champa for the win. The winner of the match, Kushida. This triple threat match was fantastic to kick off NXT. Then we get backstage. Adam Cole is on the iPod facing time the rest of the Undisputed Era. Cole says he isn't medically clear, but he will be back soon. Tonight, the Undisputed Era takes his first step back to the Golden Prophecy. I love I, I love that segment. All right, Amber Moon versus Jesse Kima. This match this match was um this match was decent. Um, but th this match was this match was decent and quick at the same time. Moon sweeps Kima. Camille, uh, it says Moon sweets Camille. Moon tells Camille she 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 is going to show her how to to work. Kima's arm drag Moon. Basement uppercut by Kima. Kima Kima locks. I mean Camille locks Moon in a in a car back, a car back. Moon does the does a front flip and lands on her feet to break the break the hole. From from um. From front, front drop kick by Moon, basement stump followed by a standing moonsault for a near fall by Moon. Moon locks Camille in a crossface. Camille rolls, 
rolls Moon into a pen. Moon kicks out. Moon lands Camille up with a few kicks. Camille lands a few kicks. Moon grabs Camille. Camille's leg and locks in in a modified ankle lock. Camille rolls Moon into the second turnbuckle. Camille floors Moon with a springboard elbow for a near for a near fall. Camille whips Moon into the corner, but Moon pops up into the to the second rope. Moon hits a flying codebreaker. Codebreaker. Uh, Moon locks. Lost Camille in a death lock with a cross face. Camille taps out. The winner of the match, Amber Moon. This match, this match was quick. After the match, Dakota Kai attacks Moon. Kai levels Moon with a big boot on the apron. Backstage, Strong and O'Reilly are helping Fish. Fish says he can't put any weight on his on his leg. Someone attacked him from behind, but he didn't see who it was. Austin Theory versus um, Bronson Weed. Bron Bronson Reed. This match was quick. Theory takes, tries to run away from from Reed. Theory eventually catches Reed with a drop kick. Reed floors Theory with a chop. Reed picks up Theory. Theory escapes and chops block and chop blocks Reed. Theory locks Reed in a near chin lock. Reed fights to his feet. Theory hits a hits the ropes, but Reed power slams him. Reed catches Theory with the senton. Reed goes up top. Theory cuts Reed off. Theory tries to set up a suplex, but Theory can't lift Reed. Reed lands a right hand that sends Theory flying. Sends, sends Theory flying. Reed flattens Theory with a toe with the top row splash for the win. The winner of the match, Bronson Reed. Fish, Fish is at the local medical facility. O'Reilly is going to take Fish place tonight. Theory grabs a mic and says he is the future of NXT. And he has done more than Reed has done in his entire career. Theory demands Reed to get back in the ring. Reed up, up late. Okay, Austin Theory versus Bronson Reed. So we get this match again. And we already know who the winner is. Um, um, Bronson Reed. Theory lands a few punches. Reed, Reed hits a toss and some more drop for the win. Alright, and that's that. Backstage, Zali says... Her match with Kenny Zaro is very important to her. She needs she needs this match. Kate Zaro says she is always up for up for a challenge. Zali says that this is the most important match in her career. All right. So so we get um during the break. Theory says he quits and drives away. So Leto, Del Fantasma, and Ashante, the Adonis. Jake Atlas and Swerve Scott in the six man tag match. This this six man tag match was decent. Um six man tag match, okay. As the bell rings, Mendoza, Escobar, and Wild all leave leave the ring. Leto Del Fantasma surrounded the ring. Surrounded the ring. Scott flips over the rope and gets in Escobar Escobar. Face Scott sends Escobar into the ring steps. Alice is working over a while in the ring. Adnos tags in and hits a flapjack on Wild. Um, Atlas lands a three amigos on Wild. Wild kicks out. Atlas tries to walk, walk the ropes. Mendoza tries to sweep his leg, but Atlas leaps over. Mendoza and Escobar attacks while while still standing on the top rope. Atlas super kicks Escobar and and he. He hits his head. Head scissors slash arm drag combo on Wild and Mendoza off the ropes. Atlas assists Scott as he hop up to the top rope. Scott crashes Lego Lego Del Fantasma with a Scott twisted twister press on the outside. After the break, Escobar and Escobar are taking turns working over Adnos. Adnos managed to tag in Atlas. Atlas clears the ring. Atlas tags in Scott. Escobar hits a sick flying kick that takes out that takes Atlas out. Scott lands a rolling flatliner on Escobar. Mendoza tags in. Scott kicks Escobar Escobar in the head while on the apron. Mendoza pulls Scott off the top rope. Scott kicks Mendoza off the apron. Mendoza trips Scott, which caused Scott to hit his face on the apron. Atlas agreed. I'm sorry. Atlas gets on the apron. 
Mendoza tries to tries to dive, but Atlas turns it into a Spanish fly off the apron. Mendoza and Atlas lands on everyone. Escobar hits a suicide dive that sends Scott flying over the announcer desk. While Escobar is distracted, Atlas hits his pl plantain handstand DT off the apron in the ring. Mendoza and Wild hit their finisher on Atlas for the win. The winner of the match, Leg Leg Del Del Fantasma. All right, at the Gargano house, Johnny Gargano complains about how much he hates Wills. Candice LeRae says. They had to practice. Gargano spins the wheel and gets a very alive match. Lee Ray spins it and it lands on a street fight match. She says she's uh, under uh, undefeated in the street fight. Gargano spins again and he gets a cactus match. Gargano wants to know why the wheel wants him dead. Gargano yells yells that he has to be in control. He can't handle not being in control. Gargano's wife is going to win. The woman's ta the woman's title, and he is going to be the six feet under. All right, let's move on. All right, Killian Dan and Drake Maverick versus Everboss. This this tag team match was quick. It says as Dan and Maverick makes their makes their interest the silly thing. Uh, Maverick had had made plays. Dan goes 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 nuts. Um, Dan yells for them to cut the music off. Everwise work over Maverick. Maverick managed to tag in Dan. Dan destroys both members of Everwise. Dan gets double child block. Parker puts Dan in a single leg crap. Martel makes Maverick watch. Maverick gets um, gets pissed and grabs the grabs a chair. Ma Maverick hits both members of Everwise with a chair to save Dan. Maverick gets gets his team disqualified. It says the winner of the match by disqualification ever rise. Dan gets in Maverick's face and, and tells him that was great. Dan yells where then Killing Dan yells where where has he where has that been this while while this wild time. Maverick gets excited. Maverick crappy music plays as he dances in the ring. Dan looks on and on in honor. Backstage, Roger Stone is out cold. No one knows what happened. After the break, William Regal is with Kyle Riley, Birch and Lorcan and Brizango. Brizango. William Regal asks O'Reilly what he's going to do. O'Reilly says Regal should, should give Lorcan and Birch the match. Lorcan and Birch says the Undisputed Era earned the shot. They both offer to put to partner with O'Reilly tonight. O'Reilly says he is going to the hospital to check on his friends. Lorcan and Birch we clearly take the title shot later later tonight. Okay, let's move on. So we get Zia Lee versus Casey Kanzaro. Casey Kanzaro. Um, this match was quick. This match was quick. So it says, um, Kaden Zaro lands a twist splash for a near fall. Hip toss by Zia Lee. Zia Lee lands a series of strikes. Kaden Zaro fires up. A roll, a, a roll, Zali up for the win. The winner of the match, Casey Kenazaro. After the match, Zali goes goes nuts and attacks Casey Kenazaro. Carter gets in the gets in the ring. Zali floors her with a kick. Lee, Zali tries Casey Kenazaro in the corner. Zali stumps Casey Kenazaro in the corner. Raquel Gonzalez appears and destroys everyone. Gonzalez grabs grabs the mic and says she is going to be Rhea Ripley's. I mean, uh, Halloween Havoc. So their feud between Rhea Ripley and Raquel Gonzalez is is continued. All right, backstage Cameron Grimes gloats about stomping Loomis all over the place. Grimes finds out that his that his match with Loomis at Halloween Havoc is a haunted house of terror match. Grimes is terrified. Grimes says it doesn't matter. He'll beat Loomis before he will do it again. Loomis appears behind the glass. Grimes is standing in front of it. Okay then. Interesting. So we get um, Timothy Timothy Thatcher is in the ring for a live edition of Thatcher as Thatch. Can, can. Thatcher gets the name of his student wrong and as he locks 
him, like saying him in a car car Alex Andrews taps out immediately. Thatcher tells tells Alex to show some aggression. Alex tries to go for Thatcher's leg. Thatcher rolls Alex in, into a double wrist lock. Alex taps taps, but Thatcher doesn't release the hold. Thatcher watches all all the way back and almost breaks Alex's arm. Thatcher eventually go. Let go. Let's go. Alex gets upset. Thatcher says Alex will never be able to to take his leg. Alex does the lock in front of does the lock in a in a front face lock. Thatcher asked to ask for a referee before the referees before the before the referee wings the bell. Thatcher punches Alex in the face. Thatcher puts Alex in a nasty single leg leg crab. Alex taps taps that taps. Thatcher kicks kicks Alex out of the ring. Okay. That was just a regular exhibition match that, that I didn't really care about. Alright, let's move on. NXT Tag Team Championship match Brizango versus Danny Burge and Olay and Olay and Olay Lorkin. This was a pretty good pretty good tag team match. Lorkin and Fandango lock up. Fandango puts Lorkin in a side headlock. Lorkin sends Fandango into the ropes. Lorkin tries in a arm drag, but Fandango turns into another headlock. Fandango tries a sunset flip out of the corner, but but Lorkin reverses it into a single leg crab. Fandango gets to, gets to the top rope. Fandango tags in Birch, who floors Fandango with a European uppercut. Bree. Breeze tags in and hits a suplex on Birch. Fandango and Breeze work over Birch in their corner. Birch falls to the outside area. Breeze, Tyler Breeze follows Birch, launches Breeze into the barricade. Breeze slams Birch's knee in, into the ring post. After the break, Birch and Lorcan are double teaming Fandango. Fandango surprises Lorcan with a clothesline that turns him inside out. All four men fight outside the area. Okay. Um, Lorcan tries to die, tries tries to die, but Breeze kicks him in the head before he can fly. Birch tosses Breeze over the barricade. Birch gets back in the ring. Fandango hits a falcon arrow followed by a top row leg drop. Birch kick out. Breeze gets back in the ring. Lorcan puts Breeze in a single leg crab. Birch adds a cross face. Um, Fandango breaks up the hole. Bree, Bree, Tyler Breeze attacks Birch's injured knee. Breeze goes, Tyler Breeze goes up top. Bree, Birch cuts Breeze off and hits a Tower of London. Fandango push, Fandango push Lorcan into the into Birch to break up the pin. Bree, Bree, Tyler Breeze and Fandango land a double super kick while the referee is distracted. Someone wearing a mat, wearing a mask, knocks Fandango off the top. Birch low blows Breeze. Birch and Lorcan hit their finish. The finish on Breeze on, on Tyler Breeze for the win. The winner and your new NXT Tag Team Champions on a Lorcan and Danny Birch. The mass the mass man celebrates with the new tag champs in the ring. The mass man takes off his mask and his pack McAfee. McAfee mocks the undisputed era as 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 he. Announces Birch and Lorcan as the new tag champs. Like I said, man, this Pac Man Affy in the Undisputed Era feud still continues. But like I said before, NXT itself was a great show. I really enjoy NXT for what it was. But anyway, if you guys enjoy my WWE NXT review and highlights, please subscribe to my channel. Drop a like on this video. I'll put my Twitter, my Instagram, and TikTok down below in the description. And I will see you guys in the next video. Big Boy, Big Boy John 25. And I'm out of here.